Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Megan and I run the crocheting business, The Mystical Hippie AU. I sell online at markets, I sell physical products and patterns as well. If you want to check them out, that one just up there, little bear here. This one is one of my own patterns and is available for purchase in my Etsy shop along with lots of other cute patterns, so go check that out. But in today's video, this might just be the funnest video I have ever filmed. So I recently just filmed, and it's probably going to be the video before this one, uh, me making this really cute Highland cow. So this pattern's by Sweet Oddity Art. Um, I'm about to start making what will probably be one of the biggest crochet items I have ever made. So I'm going to be making a Triceratops using a very similar pattern by Sweet Oddity Art. Um, I'll put a photo of the pattern here. I have made quite a few of them before. However, I'll be double stranding the yarn this time. So it's pretty much going to be double what the normal size is. So it's going to be double this. Um, so if you can imagine, that's going to be massive. I'm going to use a ton of stuffing and a lot of wool. So I want to make it to sort of just sit on the end of my table at markets and just get attention. I don't care if it's not for sale or if it doesn't sell or whatever actually i kind of hope it doesn't sell i'm going to put a like a really big price on it because i just want it to sort of be like an attention grabber um for people that are just walking past and they might not necessarily look otherwise then it'll grab their attention and hopefully they'll come in so i'm going to start making that i'm going to do it in rainbow and i'll show you the colors now that i'll be using so these here are the colors i'll be using so this light pink on the end here is going to be just like the feet and the main sort of features. This is going to be a majority of the body and then I'm going to use white for just like the horns and some other sort of features on it. So I'm going to get started working on it using the light pink. I'll probably start the arms first. I just finished off the uh, first foot, like the bottom part of the first leg and it is massive, like I'll show you compared to the little cow. So that is the size comparison. This thing is gonna be giant and I'm literally using like 10, 11 different colors and gonna change rows, uh, change colors probably every two, <laughs> I can't talk. Change colors probably every, every <laughs> I'm going to change colors probably every two, rows so color changing is going to be a massive bitch to do but um yeah let's let's get stuck into it all right so the legs all finished and it's pretty pretty cool that's like rainbow that's pretty cool i'll show you the size comparison so that that one is what we're comparing it to it is going to be giant like it's literally almost the size of the cow as it is um, so i'm really excited for it i am also timing how long it takes because with bigger projects people always ask me how long it takes and i always guess and like i never actually know but i feel like i always under not under charge that's like with pricing but under underestimate that's the word i'm after i always under underestimate how long it takes me so I got that it took about 15 minutes for this one and then about 36 minutes for that. Um, I'm just going to round it up to an hour though for the leg um, just because I feel like I always underestimate and um, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to round it up to an hour and then it'll probably like work out evenly with like all the sewing and everything. But I'm going to say an hour for this one, so two hours all up for the legs, and I know it's probably not that much, but I mean, I, I could say lower, but I mean, there's still a lot of work in it, so I'm going to say an hour for the leg, and I'm going to get working on the second one. My 
phone's about to die, so I'm going to make this real short and sweet. But I just finished off the second leg and it's so big. I love it. It's great. So this one took 46, 36 minutes actually. Um, I'm still going to keep it at an hour though. Um, like I said, I always under calculate the time it takes and like it'll sort of just like make up for any extra time that I miss out accidentally. So I'm going to say two hours all up for these ones. And that is the size comparison to the little Highland cow. So I think next or tomorrow I'm going to go to bed now. But tomorrow I'm going to work on uh, probably the arms, I'd say. So it's a good start on it, though. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll say an hour and 40 minutes. I don't know. I'll work it out tomorrow. But it's very late. I'm going to go to bed now and continue tomorrow. Firstly, I just want to take a moment. Please appreciate my yarn wall. Oh, so pretty. I went and bought like a heap more yarn at Spotlight the other day. And now she's bought. So beautiful. But I'm going to continue working. Whoops. Sorry. I'm going to continue working on the dinosaur now. Um, I'm going to start on the body. And I'm going to time it again. See how long it takes. I think it'll take a bit longer because when I was doing it, these were like emptier. So it was sort of easier to pull the yarn out from the wool. Um, but like they're a lot more full now. So I might have to pull the wool out and then put it back in instead of just taking it straight from the wool, if that makes sense. But I'm going to time it anyway, just so I can get a total for it. Because I'm interested to see how much or how long it takes all together. So I will show you once I've finished off the body. So this is how much I've done so far of the body and so far it's taken me 32 minutes and 19 seconds is what I've got it paused at. So it's coming out pretty big and then that's the leg on the side of it. So yeah, it's going to be massive. I'll show you compared to the little Kia. It's giant. <laughs> but I'm going to keep going with it and I'll show you once it's finished. So the body here is just finished and it took a total of one hour and 10 minutes, which I'm pretty surprised at actually. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but the legs, I think I put them up to an hour. I'm going to put them at 55 minutes and then this an hour and 10 minutes. So then technically it's like three hours so far altogether, uh, but it's looking adorable. So I'm going to look something like that and this bit is like bigger than my head. So that's just like to show you the size of it um, and then compared to the cow, it's already way bigger than the cow. So yeah, that's the size of it and let's see, I'm going to start on probably the arms next I'd say but the rainbow is looking really pretty and I'm really happy with that. Okay, so it is Monday night and I haven't filmed much because I haven't, oh, I'm say I haven't been crocheting. That is a lie. I made, let's see if I can find them, like a bunch of mushroom tops. I think I made like 14 of them just because I wanted something that I don't really need to follow a pattern for. So I didn't film that, um, but I've also been making lots of little octopus toys. So I have... I think, how many of them have I got done? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of these done. Um, I'm going to make a whole video of finishing off all these sort of work in progress projects. But for now, I'll continue going with the Triceratops in a sec. And then the last thing I made was this little turtle. I, I think it's cute, but I don't know if I'm happy with the pattern. I might see if I can find a better pattern. I just don't really like the shape it turned out to be, I don't think. So, because I do want to sort of stock these regularly and I want the pattern to be like perfect before I do it um, but anyway going back to the triceratops I'm going to start making the arm so I don't know if I said it last time but I have two legs and the body done I'm gonna make the arm now and I'm gonna time how long it takes me to do it and then I'll give you an update on the, yeah how long it takes <laughs> um but yeah I will go do that now. So I finished off the arm and it took a total of 42 minutes. So I'm going to make it 45 minutes and then 
that will mean both arms will equal an hour and a half altogether. Um, so all together, we're up to four and a half hours for the arms, the legs and the body. Although I still need to make one of the arms. Um, I mean, like I said, it's probably slightly less, but I'd rather overvalue the time than undervalue since I always do that. So that's it so far. And it's like giant, as you can see. <laughs> like this, whoopsie. This is literally bigger than my head. So I'm going to go make the other arm now. I might film it on a time lapse so you can see that. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to look so cool when it's done. I'm so excited to see it. I could make it like a hippie dinosaur. It's like I could do, it's like I could do dreadlocks, but dinosaurs don't have hair. What could I do to make it hippie? Give it a bong. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think I could add to it to give it a bit more of a hippie vibe, even though it's like literally full on rainbow anyway. But comment below what you think I should add, if I should add anything. So let's finish off the second arm now and they both look pretty cool. I'll, I'll turn the camera around and then I'll set it up like everything that I've done so far so you can see what it looks like, um, like the arms and legs and how they'll sit and everything. So I'll show you that now. So I just ignore all the crap in the background um, but it's not really sitting very well but this is sort of how it will look. Um, I'll show you, that's like the size comparison to a pair of scissors because I literally have nothing else to compare it to right now. But that's the size and like I said, it's not sitting perfectly, but I can tell it's going to look really cool. Um, yeah. I love that you're literally seeing like five or ten minutes of the making process of this and it's taken like four and a half hours so far, but I've literally done it over like probably five or six different days. So, um, yeah, just know that it's taking a lot longer than what is being shown in the video. So, I know this isn't my crochet dinosaur, but can we just take a moment to appreciate all of this beautiful coloured whips. <laughs> There's so much to finish off, but I just love looking at it. It's so, I don't know, it's just like really satisfying to look at. It's so cute. So I'm gonna start doing the head now for the triceratops. I thought the um like the mouth or the front of the face was just like in one colour. Um but it's no, I thought it was like one colour and then the head was a second colour, but it's all just the one colour. So I'm gonna start um pretty much doing like the colour changes from the very first row, if that makes sense. Like I thought it was like these ones how it had the pink bit at the front. Um, but it's not that case. So I'm going to start doing this straight away and I'm going to time the head as well and see how long that one takes. Alright, so this is so far what I have for the head for the dinosaur. I think I'm going to stop now because I'm getting pretty tired. Um, so far it's taken 43 minutes and 51 seconds. So not too bad. Um, about the same time as the arms, I believe. I still have like half the head to go. So guessing probably about an hour and 20 minutes for it so that's pretty good um but look at the color change it looks kind of cool <laughs> so yeah it's not too bad and i'm really happy with how it's looking so far but yeah like i said i'm pretty tired so i think i'm gonna go to bed but yeah looking forward to finishing off tomorrow all right so i went ahead and finished off the rest of the dinosaur for the head the head for the dinosaur not the dinosaur for the head and it's what it looks like now it is massive it's literally bigger than my head uh so this took an hour and 40 minutes and i i think i finished it last night i know i said i was gonna go to bed but i wasn't i got up and had a shower and wasn't tired after that so i finished off the dinosaur last night 
and I also tonight made one of the horns and this took four minutes so the all up so far it's been six hours and ten minutes plus this will be 14 minutes um, so I just need to make I think another two either another two or three of these um, so I'm gonna go do that now and then I'll probably move on to the big frill bit around the outside I'd say so I'm gonna time both of them or at least the frill bit and see how long that takes and hopefully I can come close to finish it off tonight so I just need to do I think just the frill for it and the tail um I think that's it and then I just need to sew it together and maybe like the round circle for the belly as well but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the horns now and then yeah move on to the frill <laughs> Let's finish off the three horns for the dinosaur. I said before one took four minutes. I'm gonna say one takes five minutes and then I'll just like have an even 15 minutes for the three of them. Um, just for like changing stitch markers over and all that sort of stuff, cutting the yarn and swapping over. Um, so I'm gonna put it up to an even 15 minutes. So if I do that, let me add it up. It will be six hours and 25 minutes so far that it's taken to make. So that's pretty good. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to move on to the frill now. Right, so I've just finished off the frill for the dinosaur. And I'll just try it on the head now and see how it fits. Oh, it's so cute. Look how cute. It's massive. Kind of looks like a bonnet for a baby. <laughs> um, I really want to get it done tonight or at least like everything finished off for it so I can sew it tomorrow. What's the time? It's currently 1.09 a.m. I'm so tired but I do really need to get it done because I have two orders that I need to do um, and I want to get this done before I do the orders so I really need to get it done as quick as I can. Um, I don't know if I said that frill thing took 24 minutes. I don't think I did say that. Um, but I I think I'm going to make the tail now. I might come back to making the rest of the frill tonight. If not, I think I'll do it. I might do it tomorrow. Because um, I'm nearly falling asleep here. But hopefully I'll get the tail done tonight. And I'll show you that once it is finished. Here's the tail finished off. This took how long did it take? 32 minutes. Um, I probably can do the frill, the rest of the frill for the dinosaur because I, tonight, because I do really want to get it finished tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I might do it. I might not. But anyway, 32 minutes for the tail. So I just made the second frill and I've done it in the rainbow colours and I was planning on having this one in front and then this one at the back. But I definitely like this a lot more. Um, I'll just try it on there. So I think I'm going to remake it, remake a second one the same. Either the same or I'll do um, like the colours from here. So it'd be green, uh, mint, blue and purple. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or just make a second one of these. But I know I'm going to remake it so I'm not having just the plain pink one in it. Um, but this one also took, uh, this one took 25 minutes. So I guess with like the color changes and everything. But I, I am much happier with this than the pink one. So I'm going to go remake that one now. Okay, so firstly, please excuse the exercise gear. I was very angry earlier. So I decided the best thing to do to be, best thing to do would be to go to the gym. And I did that and I'm feeling slightly less angry. But anyway i just finished off making the other side of the frilly bit um i didn't time this because like the other two were 24 or 25 minutes so i just put this one down as 25 minutes i'm not going to use this one but i will do 
uh, light pink around the outside just here. So I'm going to time to see how long it uh, takes to do this. And then I'll start um, sewing everything together once I've finished this off. And yeah, that will pretty much be the dinosaur done after that. I mean, I say that, but sewing will literally take like two or three hours, I reckon. Um, but yeah, I will show you the process of me doing this once it's done. So I finished, the, finished sewing the frill and that's the front and then that's the back. Um, this one took... What was it 28 minutes to sew the frill on and like had the little white bobbly things so i think the rainbow looks a whole lot better than just the plain pink um, but it looks kind of weird there but um once it's sewn on and all together and everything i think it's going to look absolutely insane so i'm very excited for that and i think i'm going to i'm going to go have some dinner now and then i'll come back and sew it so I reckon we're probably up to, I'm going to say about eight hours for it so far. Um, once again, give or take a little bit because I've added a bit of extra time on. Plus I included the time that it took to make this, which I'm not using because technically it's still included in the making process. Um, but I will come back later and start sewing everything together. So just sewn on the frill for the dinosaur and so far the sewing process has taken 27 minutes and 53 seconds. It is a very big boy. <laughs> He's giant but I think it's going to be absolutely insane sitting on my table and I think it's going to get lots of attention from everyone and I'm very happy to see it coming together. I had a, I'm going to say I had a kind of shitty day today. <laughs> Uh, a bit of a poor experience with something I made for someone. And anyway, not going to get into it, but I love seeing the dinosaur. He's so cute. He kind of looks like, I don't know, kind of looks like sunset around here or like fire or something. He's like really angry. But anyway, I'm going to continue sewing the rest of the dinosaur together. I'm thinking maybe an hour and a half for sewing since we're already up to 27 minutes no oh, maybe not that long maybe an hour but we'll see i'll let you know Oh my gosh, look at my giant dino! I love it so much, that's so big, it's like enormous. <laughs> I love the colours, I love everything about it. The only thing that's kind of annoying me is that the legs are a little bit floppy. I could sew it together, um, that could make it a bit more sturdy by sewing it a little bit more, but I think when it's sitting on the table it will be fine. Um, so the sewing took an hour and I'm going to add another 15 minutes for the eyes uh, just because I'm going to hot glue them on and the hot glue takes a bit to set up and everything. So I'm going to add up the total and then I'll tell you the total amount of time. Let me know in the comments what you think it would have taken me. I'm thinking probably about 10 hours all up. 
um but i don't know let me know below if you think 10 hours is a good guess or what you would have guessed and i'll tell you in the next clip so the total is 10 hours and 25 minutes i'm just gonna say 10 and a half hours to take it took 10 and a half hours to make um just to make it an even number 10 and a half hours and i feel like that's a pretty good number for it Honestly, I was expecting a lot longer, so at least now I know if someone asks how long does it take, then I can say ten and a half hours. But I'm going to go glue on the eyes for it. I'll show you the eyes that I'm planning on using. I was going to use... Oh no, it's falling. That's what I was worried about. I might need to sew the legs together, like I said. Um, where is it? It's over here. So I was going to use these eyes... Uh, mostly because they have a dinosaur already on it. I don't know if they're going to be too small though. I might need to get something a little bit bigger. I think they're a tad small. Um, but I will have a play around, have a look at what eyes I've got. And I'll show you the end result. So I ended up going with some darker pink ones. Just because they're a little bit bigger. Um, I did want to go with some lighter pink ones that are the same as this. But for some reason I only have one of them. I don't know where the other one is. So I went with the dark ones. Sorry, I just have blue everywhere now <laughs> went with the dark ones and the dinosaur is finished off yay i think i will add a little bit of yarn just to try and make it sit a little bit better so it doesn't sort of flop forward but apart from that it's all finished off um and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i really enjoyed making it i love making stuff like this that i haven't made before i've made like small versions of it but I just love, I don't know, it's just like really satisfying finishing off a project like this after I've put that many hours and that much effort into it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it and please comment below if you want me to make more giant animals like these. And I had a ton of fun making it, so I really hope you enjoyed watching it, watching the video. I hope you were able to get lots of your work in progress projects done. If not, grab a work in progress project and then binge watch all my videos. I would love you for that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.